Today's video is a hybrid, food and beer. The beer we're gonna be reviewing is this beer here. This is by Wiper and True and Dea. It is their uh, collaboration series number 18, Plan D. I'll tell you a bit more about that after the break. And we're also gonna be deciding to do some food. These, Sniders of Hanover. These are pretzel pieces, jalapeno flavor. What are they gonna be like? What are they gonna be like together? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer. Uh, we've had this one in the in the fridge for a while. Um, it was part of the March box that I bought. And this is a Wiper and True and Daya. Um, obviously Wiper and True, they're a brewery down in, in Bristol. Uh, Daya in, in Cheltenham, so they're fairly close together. This is called Plan D Mixed Fermentation India Palau. It's got Citrus, Simcoe and Moteca in it, 6.5%. And, and it's, it's obviously got this... It's got the Daya House yeast, and then it's got some this Brett, which is a sort of mixed fermentation sort of yeast mixture. So it's going to be a bit funky, I suppose. Um, and obviously, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be like. It just says Plan D mixed fermentation India Palau, Wiper and True Bristol, in collaboration with Daya. Um, and it's to say this version uses strains known as Brett D, selected by brewers for a reputation of introducing a fruity cocktail, pineapple and red apple aromas. Um, over time as the beer ages, if you manage to save it, expect to see additional complexity. Well, this one, uh, it's best before the 11th of June, 21. It's just it's batch number one. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's probably a few months old, but let's crack it open and see what it's like. I wanted to do the review of the, these as well. These are Snyder's of Hanover. Um, and I've seen these and I, and I wanted to try them. There's jalapeno pretzel pieces. No idea what they're like, but someone said these are really great. I saw them on a forum and someone said these are really great uh, snacks. So I thought I'd get hold of these. I don't know what they are. They look really weird in terms of the pictures, but we'll see what they're like as well. And obviously if the beer's not bad, we've got those. And if they're not good or the beer's good, then we can wash them away with a beer. Hopefully the balance will be a great balance. As I say, I've had this beer for a while, just a bit... I don't know, just nervous of it a little bit, really. Um, I'm just wondering what it's going to be like, but it could just be like a very nice IPA. I mean, Daya do fantastic beers. Wiper and True, I've had a couple of reasonably good pearl hours from them. A little bit inconsistent in this style. So, beer in a glass, it's very sort of orangey. You've got a slight haze there, but it's a lot more orangey. It's almost like, even in this light, it looks a little bit more almost going towards a sort of copper coloured, but it is fairly bright orange. Um, it looks lighter at the bottom and darker at the top, which is a bit weird. And it's got one finger of white head. Let's see what the aromas are like. Yeah, I mean, it smells... I'm picking up a bit of pineapple. Actually, a fair bit of pineapple. And there's a, there's just a, it's a different sort of smell. There's a lot of tropical sort of aromas in there. But it smells very fresh and a little, dare I say it, funky. I'm trying to see if I can pick up the red apple aroma. There is a freshness of it. And then things like an apple, a crunchy apple, you know, it's very a fresh type of fruit. And I don't know, you can't really sort of say it's an apple, but it's it definitely smells pretty good. It smells really nice. There's bits of passion fruit and orange and all kinds of things going on in it. See what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it's a bit strange. It's very, there's a lot of orange in there, passion fruit. There's not much, it's, there's no real bitterness. The mouth feels a bit sort of strange as well. I thought it was going to be a little bit more softer. They do fantastic beers in terms of their mouth feel. This is a little thin and light. There's a little bit of pininess as well, but I'm getting more passion fruit and orange flavours in there. I'm not getting apple. I'm not really getting much in terms of pineapple either. To me, it's got a... There's a little bit of both business there on the back end. And it's quite... 
it's quite a dry sort of um, flavour to it that makes you want to keep drinking it really. It really dries out the throat. I don't know if it's the best thing to have with the jalapenos because that's going to make me drink it really quickly. It's it's a bit different. What is it? It's not like your day or IPA. It's certainly not, I wouldn't call it a fruit bomb. It's very sort of orangey. Almost, it's almost a little bit like a hybrid because it's, the carbonation is quite low and it's, it's, but it's quite thin. But at the same time, it's, it's thin, but being a bit, but also soft. What I'm trying to get at is that those flavours are orange and the passion fruit and that sort of bit of piney bitterness, really. It reminds me of something like, say, a Sierra Nevada Palau. It's, it's, it, sound, it's, it has that West Coast sort of taste. But then there's an element of it that's sort of trying to drag me back to the East Coast in terms of its mouthfeel, in terms of its softness. It's not bad, but it's... It's missing something. There's an element missing. Okay, let's park that by the side and let's crack open these. Maybe these and that will go well together. So, pretzels. You know, obviously we know what pretzels usually look like, but these are sort of chunks. Almost like, in terms of what they look like, I mean, they're obviously like bready bits, but they look a bit like a pork scratching. They're not as hard as a pork scratching. As you bite it into a really hard bit. Um, they're almost like little breadsticks. Bready, little bready pieces, basically. But they've got a nice spicy jalapeno flavour. Mm, actually, they're really nice. It's just the texture's a bit weird. It's just a bit... It's almost like those, um, not like bre breadsticks, but those little round bread, ready, bready things, you know, usually like, uh, what's like a, you know, like a French toast, like a, that you get in, in France, sort of, you know, in packet, not for, a lot of France, say France, but a lot of the continent, you get these sort of bready sort of products, usually like crisp wheat, sort of that sort of stuff, like almost like dried, I say dried bread, but it's like a cracker, but it's almost like a combination of a bread and a cracker. So it's a weird sort of texture. And they're all all funny different shapes. I mean, look at this one. It's a bit weird. I mean, it look, it almost, I don't know what that looks like. I and mean, it's got obviously all those jalapenos in it. There's a nice spiciness to it though. It makes it very Moorish. And it's just warm. It's nice and warm and it's not overpowering. It's not like, oh, I've got to have a drink straight away. The, the heat level is just about right. That's a pretty good snack, and it goes well with beer. So let's have another drink of this. Yeah, to me, it's it's got that West Coast taste, but the bitterness is dialed right back. There's still a little bit of piling of bitterness on the back end there, but it's not overpowering, and it's... Um, it's very much in that sort of orange, orange rind sort of flavour with a bit of passion fruit as well. It's not bad. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in. For this Wiper and True and Daya, it's a bit different. In fact, it's a lot different. Wiper and True collaboration series, Plan D, mixed fermentation. This is a sort of beer that I reckon if I cracked it open in another three months, it probably would taste slightly different. Or if I'd cracked it open a month or two ago, it would have probably tasted different. It's not my, the sort of thing that I like, but let's go through it. Aroma first. Well, there's certainly a, a big sort of hit of orange and passion fruit. There's also a little sort of subtleness of pineapple, which it says that there's pineapple in there, but it's almost like it's only in the aroma. It's not in the flavour. It's not bad. It's 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 got a lot of different sort of aromas, and it's certainly quite pungent. So I'm giving it twelve for aroma. Um, in terms of appearance, well, I'm a little bit disappointed. It's a hazy orange sort of colour. In fact, as it sits in the when it first poured in the glass, it looked really darker at the top, but it it's got a slight haze to it. It's not bad, but I'm giving it um I'm giving it a seven. 
out of 10 for appearance. Flavour wise, you get a big hit of orange and passion fruit. You're not getting, you know, even though you get a little bit of pineapple on the, on the nose, you're not getting it in the flavour. You get a little bit of piney bitterness, but it's, it is held back. It's all got a nice sort of fairly low carbonation. It's, it's still quite thin to medium in terms of its body, but it's the carbonation is soft, so it tastes quite soft on the palate. But then you're getting confused because you're getting a lot of these sort of almost the West Coasty sort of flavours there, the orange and the passion fruit and a little bit of pininess there. But it's the piney bit, the piney bitterness, which is usually the part that I don't really like on a West Coast, is dialed right back. So it makes it more, more enjoyable to drink. But he doesn't really know what it wants to be, really. I'm not getting enough of those big, strong flavours. I'm getting orange and a very sort of bittery orange. It's not the best, nicest flavour. So I'm going to give it 30 for flavour. Value for money. Well, this one cost me nearly a fiver. And it's, it's not the best tasting beer. I don't feel it's great value. So I'm giving it 6 out of 10 for value. And then my overall experience, well, I'm glad I've tried it. It's something different. It's not my sort of preferred style. And to be honest, it's all over the place in terms of its flavor profile. I want a little bit more fresh mango and pineapple. I, don't, I, I just, there's sort of this oranginess. It's just, it's just orange and bittery and but, blood orange sort of flavors with a bit of passion fruit in there. It needs some of that pineapple. And the red apple on the aroma that it says in the can, I'm not getting any of that at all. So I'm giving it 11 for overall. It's not something that I'd want to drink more of. So we top those scores up and we get, you know, a 66. It's not the best score. It's a Bon Jovi of beers. It's a little, I don't mean it's bland. I don't think it's corporate rock, you know. It, it's just, it just doesn't really know what it wants to be, you know. Maybe, may, as I say, with this beer, it's one of those sort of beers because it's got this strange sort of mixed fermentation, this Brett strain, that if you if you drank it in a couple of more months, it might taste better. It might have a completely different taste profile. You know, it. this is a sort of, you know, it's a born to be my baby, but it wants to be living on a prayer. Maybe in a few more months it could be, but until now, it's only a 66 mid-range Bon Jovi beer. And, you know, that's the sort of thing it is. One thing I would say is that these snacks, obviously they don't go, we don't go through the same sort of uh, point system. But I reckon these are not I made them beer. I reckon they're like a mid eighties in terms of giving them a score. Nice and spicy. You've got to be careful though, because you can crunch into them and some, some of the parts of them are really hard, but a flavor is all there in this. Very Moorish and a great accompaniment for beer. You can get these in home and bargains. Can't remember the price, but I'm sure they were pretty reasonable. Snyder's of Hanover. This is Jalapeno. They do do other flavours, of which I can't remember what other flavours they do, but they do do other flavours. Pretzel pizzas. Flavoured sourdough hard pretzel. Yeah, they're a little bit hard. If you've got dodgy teeth, then you'd be, kept, be careful with them. Are they better than a spicy peanut? I still think I prefer a peanut. But these aren't bad. Give them a try. So, hope you enjoyed that review today. And until the next one, keep on rocking.